Hello friends of TV Agro, my name is Pedro Cardona, Zoo Technical Veterinary Doctor. We are at the facilities of the Animalvator Veterinary Clinic. We are going to talk a little about the most common fractures and accidents of pets, what people expect or want about your solution. Dogs usually come mostly by accident due to being run over. They always come with multiple invoices, damage to most of their bones, Fractures are always classified as open, closed, complete, with minutes and after a complete checkup, or revision, to a support with image aids, we look for and carry out a process, a study in which we try to give you the best solution. Whenever one of these patients is received, due to being run over, we never focus on whether he fractured, he did not fracture, if not, on whether there is no internal damage to later determine the bone damage, these patients are received in the clinic, they do abdominal studies with ultrasound and blood studies. Blood chemistry to look at alterations and other additional that any serious damage has already been eliminated. We go to the x-ray study that is what supports us to give a subsequent solution to it. After vehicle accidents, there are falls, which are the ones that occur most in cats, these are the flying cat syndrome, the kittens that are in their windows, people forget to close it, something scares them or calls them to pay attention and they fly away. The flying cat normally everyone believes and has in his head that cats always land on their feet, no, not every time, that's why they leave their windows open, this one looks at how to jump out and suffers accidents and breaks of their limbs, mostly to fractures in their bones. To be able to transport these, either due to a car accident, due to a fall or more to the clinic, Try to make a stretcher if possible, either with a blanket with something and not try to manipulate it too much, because the pain in these cases is high, after he enters the clinic. He does a prior checkup, as I told you before, checkups are done first with an ultrasound to rule out any type of rupture or rupture of a vessel. That there is no internal bleeding from his bladder, that it is the one. That almost always also bursts due to a run over accident, so after all that is ruled out, we move on to the x-ray part, which is where the injuries and fractures that the bones have are confirmed, and then in a consensus with the orthopedists, determine what will be the procedure of the pet. In the clinic obviously after there is an accident of this type and the injury at the bone level is not going to intervene immediately and as sometimes people believe or pretend, no, what is done is, the patient is stabilized, a certain time is waited depending on the inflammation, on the injury he has and thus the exact day and time is planned to proceed to operate, after the patient is hospitalized, as I said, projections and studies are done for the solution of the fractures, obviously the client arrives who wants his pet to go home with a simple injection or with a bandage. Then we have clients who have also been with the patient, who cause us a little inconvenience because no matter how much we explain and show solutions, they do not help, there are already others who obviously do understand an injury, a fracture, on a bone it can have multiple solutions, but there are solutions like now, before a type of solution was handled a lot that was with nails, depending on whether it was a long bone, fixators were made and you must know quite a few, you have seen per there are some injured people who have external fixators, but now the best solution for fractures are plates in almost 90%, there are cases in which this type of solution has to be handled, but the choice and handling are always plates. As I told you, there are patients who want us to put a little kiss on a bandage and mobilize. There are few cases in which this type of solution can be done. 
there are cases in which it can be solved with bandages with immobilization that are fractures where the bone almost united, that is, in its entirety, the anatomy preserves it. It was simply fracture, but the anatomy is preserved. In those cases it is possible to provide this type of residual solutions if, as far as possible, an osteosynthesis has to be carried out, which is a surgery, in which the application is made either of a plate, fixator, of an intramedullary nail or of the rest to be able to give it stability. For the type of handling of fractures that are done with bandages or with plaster, it implies a lot the care of the owner, the stillness, medication, the handling given by the clinical doctors, we as medical surgeons carry out the procedure, we give instructions to the clinician and clinician and to those who continue to take care of the pet, what we do is a subsequent consultation either 20 days a month. Supported with diagnostic images to determine how much longer the bandage or plaster has been handled. Speaking again of the fractures and the type of osteosynthesis material that is handled in these we speak of, nails as I explained before, they are the nails that are called Kirschner nails, they are the smooth threaded nails that previously where people did not sell the idea of the plaque and others, it was handled a lot and well, it had a good or medium good evolution, and, there were too many problems, due to the care at home, by its owners, that is why it is already being treated and the plaques are being implemented more, the plates if we can find them of different types depending on the type of fracture, the area of the fracture and others. There are plates that are DCP plates, which are almost the most basic plates, for handling a simple fracture, there are other plates that can already generate a little more stability and better evolution for the patient, which are the locked plates, which are also of low compression, that is, they are not going to injure the bone much, but they are going to give me a lot of stability. There are plates in different types of material in 316 surgical steel, which is what is handled, which is a steel that does not react or cause problems for the pet, there are already other types of material such as titanium, it weighs less, it is more durable it has less risk of generating a reaction on the injury or the patient rejects it and has to remove later or generate some type of infection on the bone, but, in this part if we go to the costs, which are much higher costs. Titanium plates, as we have been talking about, and steel plates, it depends on the budget, on the quality of evolution that the owner wants to have in his pet, everything goes to costs. After the surgery, the choice of material, the surgery that has been given, we almost always talk about the fact that surgery plus postoperative care is handled 50-50, this could do a little less surgery and more care. Because we can do a procedure super well, that is, everything is perfect for us, but it happens that, as has happened to us, the owner is careless, lets it lean, lets it be a greater or abrupt force on that limb that was done surgery and it can begin to cause it to detach, begin to generate friction on the muscle and it can lead to the rejection of the product not because of the material, but because of what begins to destabilize and in addition to that, yes, the animal it moves and rotates. Over the fracture focus of the injury, also, they do not help much so that it ossifies, a bone callus is formed, which is formed where the fracture focus was and can lengthen the process of animal recovery malm for us as surgeons the owner always helps us a lot in the care with the stillness and with the subsequent care and there are patients who are sent to the physiotherapist so that there is a better faster recovery the medication also has to be on time, because there are people who tell you that. You have to give him a daily tablet, what happens if they give him at 8 in the morning today but the next day they give it to him at 10, if you run for 2 hours you are running no longer 24, but 26 hours and successively, as much as possible, 
home care also greatly influences a patient's evolution without problems and everything goes perfectly. After taking good care at home and others, controls are scheduled every 20 days or every 15 days, depending on the type of injury the pet has had, that is already coordinated because obviously the dog must be fasted, because it is time to return it to sedate, to be able to take an x-ray and determine, as treating doctors, how long medication should continue to be given, how long should he continue to be kept quiet and how long or should he continue to be taken to a physiotherapist, depending on the degree of injury he has, surgery sometimes people believe that everything depends on the doctor, but as I told you, in most cases it depends on home care, because home is always where the patient will receive better care, better evolution and better treatment for your injury or fracture problem that you have had. Well friends of TV Agro, concluding everything, my name is Pedro Cardona Zoo Technical Veterinary Doctor, we are at the facilities of the Animalvator Veterinary Clinic, and to follow us on social networks you will find all the information.